Hey Hunters, Lord here, back with yet another Endgame Iceborne set video. In today's video, I'll be covering my Endgame spread and Pierce Heavy Bowgun sets. Now I do want to start off with a small disclaimer, these are going to be Endgame sets. This means you'll have to farm Endgame, Master Rank Monsters, and Decorations. If you're looking for a more progressive guide with different armor suggestions for each stage of the game, you can check out my progression guide, which will be linked in the top right now, as well as down in the description. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Starting off with the weapon, we'll be using the Vor Buster Heavy Blowgun from Fatalis. I've got mine augmented for full affinity, but you can of course opt for whatever you like here as it doesn't really matter. The HBG that you use for these different sets can change, especially for harder hitting monsters, as the Vor Buster can really only use one or two shield mods. So if you feel like you need more shield, you can use either Safajiva's Burst Cannon for spread or Safajiva's Snipe Cannon for pierce. As you can see, there's obviously going to be quite a large drop off in raw damage, but the comfort of the Safajiva weapons is unmatched, so you can feel free to switch to them if you would like. The mods I use for each of these bowguns is shown now as well. Moving on to the sets, we're going to start off with our shield heavy bowgun sets. This is what we'll be using for spread. For mods, we're using 3 times recoil suppressor, 1 close range mod, and 1 shield mod. You can drop the close range mod for another shield if you want, but in my opinion it's just not worth it. We're of course going to be rocking 4 pieces of Fatalis armor to get true spare shot. This gives us a 30% chance to not consume ammo when firing. If you couple this with ammo up level 3, we have 10 shots per clip of spread 3, pierce 3, and normal 3. This means you realistically only have to reload every 13 shots, but it's often more. This is insane since spread 3 pumps out crazy amounts of damage. We hit 100% crit easily on tenderized weak spots, and can get some sick numbers once the monster is enraged and agitator level 7 activates. Now personally, I've opted for evade extender since you need to stay close to the monster. This allows us to reposition much, much easier. However, you can swap it out for something else if you prefer another skill. For Pierce 3, the set more or less stays the same. You're of course just going to swap out the spread up decos in the waste for Pierce up, and we're going to be changing the bowgun mods to 1 recoil, 1 reload, 1 ranged up, 1 shield, and then personally I like special scope with my shield pierce heavy bowgun, but if you hate how scope looks, which I totally understand, you can either go with the second shield mod or another ranged attack up mod, and that's totally up to you. Again, like I said earlier, we have clip size 10 on pierce 3 with free element ammo up level 3, and we have true spare shot. So you won't have to reload that often, which allows you to pump insane damage into monsters very easily. This is great for lots of monsters, especially things like Savage Devil Joe, Kulv Taroth, and anything that's relatively long and straight. So moving on to the scope builds, we're again going to start off with spread, and this is super super high damage, but it's also very risky. For mods, we're using 3 times recoil, 1 close range, and 1 special scope. Now I did drop some crit here, so you really have to keep the monster tenderized to achieve 100% crit, but we gained quick sheath, and I feel like that is really necessary here since you can't just tank attacks with a shield anymore, so being able to quickly put away your weapon and move is very nice. You can swap that for more evade extender if you want, or another skill, again I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Once again, pierce scope is more or less the same, again just drop the spread up in the waste for pierce up and change the mods to 1 recoil, 1 reload, 2 ranged, and 1 special scope. Now personally, I don't like normal 3. I think pierce and spread are just better options in 99% of matchups, but if you do want to use normal 3, you can just use any of these builds, drop the spread or pierce up for normal up in the waste, and make sure that you have recoil plus 1 and either normal or fast reload on your normal 3 ammo. You can see your recoil and reload per ammo by clicking in the left stick when looking at your bowgun. So that's about all there is to that one guys, wanted to keep this one short and sweet. If you found a set that you really liked, do consider leaving a like down below to support the channel totally for free and to help this video reach other hunters. If you're new to my channel, new to Monster Hunter, or if you liked what you saw today, do consider subscribing to my channel for lots more Monster Hunter content to come. I'm going to be trying to go through a lot of the weapons and show you what endgame sets look like. So if that's something that interests you, then subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with that. With all that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.